Hello everyone, Electron Man. When we're back on this uh, Zenith Transatlantic, Atlantic, 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 or Atlantic, I don't know how to pronounce it anyway. This Transatlantic, I think that's how you say it. Uh, anyway, uh, I probably put way too much time and effort in this thing. I mean, I don't know if you remember, guys, but this whole section over here was completely burned to smithereens. I don't know what somebody did. Of course, you know, we went through the whole fact of that. They had moved all the tubes around. The tubes weren't in the right sockets, and it, it, the list just goes on and on. But uh, I think now, fingers crossed, I've got her. Uh, I've got her back to. Well, it's nowhere stocked, but I basically I've uh, omitted the uh, the uh, DC switch that was built in there. Took out the uh, DC battery pigtail that was in there. And I've rebuilt the circuit using some modern uh, modern diode and uh, and resistor and cap and uh, re-engineered the circuit to where I believe I'm good. I've just got through checking the plate loads and uh, it looks like the current draws right on it. I don't know. These tubes are at 30%. I don't know uh, how sensitivity is going to be. I don't know. I don't know a lot of things on it, but uh, I do know this. Uh, <laughs> this is all I'm going to put into it for a while. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, me and you are gonna bring her up together and see if I, if I get anything out of her. If I do, awesome. Um, I might do a little alignment on it. I don't know how much alignment I want to do on it with uh, the tubes. They're really weak. I know that. And uh, but I mean, I got to checking around and pricing it, and I'm looking at it over a hundred bucks in tubes. So uh, you know, maybe a local ham fest or something. I'll hit. And maybe I could find those tubes for you know a decent price. But uh, you know, some of them, especially one of them's going for about 40 bucks. I'm not paying $40 for a, a tube that's 50 years old that says tested or as is, you know, used. You're not going to find a brand new one. So it definitely have to be something I can pick up the ham fest for, you know, five or so bucks and willing to throw a risk at it. But, hey, you know, I quit rambling on here. Like I said, I have rewired the circuit. I've went through tested. I believe I'm good. Um, I did bring it up uh, on the Variac. I didn't turn it on, but I don't have any shorts, so I'm good there. Um, it shouldn't smoke, but uh, whether it makes any noise or not is, you know, still to be determined here. Oh, boy. Yeah. Which I found out, by the way, this weird piece here is actually, it's a resistor. Uh, it's actually three resistors, and uh, they're high-temp resistors. And uh, I've never seen one in that kind of package before, but but after I figured out what they were on the schematic and tested them there, they're, it's okay. Um Obviously, uh, it's designed to run pretty hot. I mean, that's why it's grounded to the case like it is, or thermally collected to the case. But anyway, just FYI on that. Um, learned a lot on this. This radio's had some weird uh, weird circuitry, the way they did things. Uh, probably one of the older ones I've worked on, and uh, definitely I've learned a few things. Uh, hopefully, I learned enough that I actually got this thing to come on. Let's go ahead and uh, let me get her in frame here. If she's going to go up and smoke, she's going to go up and smoke together, guys. Um, make sure. Okay, I got her turned off. See, now when I turn her on, she's idling. She's not really drawing any current at all, which is good. That's what it should be. And then uh, when I turn it on, it should get a bump up. And I'm watching this. I've got this uh, amp meter over here that, that I run through my Variac. And uh, what it does is it tells me uh, how much current I'm drawing. And, uh, and the, the Variac itself on idle um, is about four and a half a, a watts, so 4.5 watts. So I know that, uh, that I'm not drawing anything. So anyway, when I go ahead and turn her on here, yeah, she bounces up to, uh, starts at about 13 and starts heating up and gets up to about 16 watts, which is about what it should be. There he is. We'll see. We'll let her... Uh, heat up here now and uh, if she's going to work she should make sound I'm not hearing anything yet I've got I don't know probably 15 20 or hey I heard a crackle I'm hearing I'm hearing some sound hey check it out at least I got a hum it's better than nothing right hey you guys hearing that what do you know, guys? We got sound. Okay. Um, Check it out. Phone, you have something called the Notes app. Wow. Right? Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Now all that, that notes app drumming and complaining I was doing is worth every dime of it. Oh, it's for me to like. We, cool. we might, I need at the grocery store. 
I mean, the man on building so I don't know how good this is going to do, but it's obviously working. Um, if you were to put everything into a speed. You use some cleaning on the switches, I'm sure. Yeah, she's tuning the bands. That's good enough anyway. Uh, cool. Well, good news. It's up and running. I don't know how much alignment I want to do on it right now. Um, I think I'm still going to have to stick it to the side because I don't know how sensitive it's going to be with 30% tubes. I might play with a little bit a little bit of alignment, put it back together. But uh, the good news is, is uh, I brought it back. It's a... Uh, as you heard, it's definitely a functioning radio now. Uh, sounds like the band switches are working. Like I said, I don't have any antenna hooked up right now, but I can tell I am picking up some static in there. There's a weak station right there. Yeah, she's going to work. Probably needs a whole lot of alignment and a couple of fresh tubes to do her low. Good. Anyway, I'm gonna put her back together. Cool. Hey, from what it was, with uh, totally burned up in the bottom, uh, missing a tube, all the tubes in the wrong spots. God knows what this poor thing's been through. To get her to the point where she's actually playing uh, music again, or, or actually. Uh, Making sound again and actually receiving radio waves is is a pretty big accomplishment for me. I'm I'm happy with that. Uh, really like to get a fresh set of tubes all the way around it and then go through here and do a, a clean up on everything I worked on and uh, do a nice alignment on it. But uh, at least uh, we've got her where she's up and running. Uh, I will clean it up a little bit now. I'm going to put it back together and I might do one last video on it and see what we end up with after I put it all together as far as reception, etc. But uh, hey, guess what, guys? Another one taken care of. I'm kind of excited. Well, here you go, guys. All put back together. Um, she works. Everything works on it, actually. Uh, if you listen here, it's got this travel. That really makes a difference. I kind of like the travel. And this one, it's got voice. It doesn't seem to make as much difference. It's kind of takes the highs a little bit out of it. You got auto, which really cleans it up, but kind of brings the signal down. So it's probably like ALC or something. And then you got bass. Makes it a little fuller. All the bands work. It's not all the switches work. It's kind of cool how it's got broadcast morning, all day, afternoon, afternoon, and evening, evening, and best reception. And uh, kind of tells you which bands are running at which times. And it's. Anna. 
and water. Electron Man. I thought I'd go ahead and do a little surfing on this guy for you. Uh, with the actually, I did a little bit of final tuning on it. I, I couldn't leave it alone. And I'm really pretty dang happy with it. It, uh, quail, hey, it, about, it works pretty good. I'm, uh, going yeah, I would say it's 100% restored. I, I'm sure new tubes can even make it better, but, uh, we'll go in through, through the evening band here. I've got it set on evening band that. and kind of just show you how she's working. And uh, I would say uh, nothing wrong. As you can tell, I've got it on a channel right now. I'll just sweep the whole thing. We'll see how many channels we get here. But, uh, Hopefully I don't get it too loud here. Spiritually provide for them, not just the belly being full. Spiritually provide for them. Country could look like Mad Max in a few months. And again, this is best case scenario. If you're an optimist, See? listen to what I'm saying. You need to know it's how to nice sound water. to it, doesn't it? You need to buy water filters. You need to have six to twelve months of food on hand. I, right now I have maybe two or three. My goal is six to twelve. Five, ten. Recursor o dirigente. Y aún así quiere imponer su voluntad al pueblo. Tenemos que recordar. I like how wide band it is. I really do. This, this right is different than that band I've had before. Real wide band. Really lets you tune in. Desde luego, todo el mundo lo tiene, ¿no? Sus favoritos. Yo creo que la etapa eh, mía como director más... Better get 
right past that one. importante y el momento terrible cuando yo me di cuenta de que eso necesitaba trabajo se iba a estrenar pero estaba condenado de entrada es decir ese ha sido anyway guys I think you get the point here sobre todo porque la víctima we fixed her without that 100% um with alignment not bad I really think new tubes would really 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 bring her up even higher but uh I was pretty excited. Uh, I about gave up on it, I'll be honest. Um, if those two tubes hadn't done the trick. That and a little more rewiring and a couple more capacitors and another uh, another resistor. I found a 500 ohm resistor was, was really getting me a lot of grief. And uh, got those in there and we got her up. And uh, I mean, that's I, I think we've got her up pretty good, to be honest. Uh, seems to be pretty sensitive. I like how this one, um, of all the shortwave radios I have, this one has probably the broadest band spread that I've had of any of my radios and I really like that because uh, you don't get those stations piling on top of you like you do uh, you notice how I can really tweak it you know some of them are so sensitive that you know you know a little hair and you're off off band with this with it being wider spread like that it really helps you tune in but anyway uh, enough about that we're done with this one um, this is a wrap it's gonna go in my collection and uh, look forward to my next uh, shortwave uh, restore It'll be up on the bench, and that'll be my next series. Have a great day. This is Electron Man. If you get a chance, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.